Hello everyone, welcome to the Flying Machine Channel. Since the Wright brothers launched their airplane in 1903, it only took 100 years for technology to develop rapidly as it is today. One of the most contrasting developments in aircraft technology is its engine. In the past, various aircraft were driven by piston engines like a car. Due to limitations in engine rotation, the position of the piston engine has now been replaced by a gas turbine engine as the aircraft's propulsion. The gas turbine engine was first designed by Egidius Elling, a famous Norwegian engineer in 1903. With 11 horsepower, the engine was a great achievement at that time. As technology advances, gas turbine engines now come in various sizes and shapes. The following is an explanation of the three types of gas turbine engines commonly used in aircraft. However, before continuing to the discussion, let's support the Flying Machine channel by subscribing and turning on the notification bell. The first is turbojet engine. The turbojet engine is the simplest gas turbine engine and the first to be discovered. The turbojet engine moves by utilizing high pressure gas that is flowed through the exhaust port. The air sucked by the engine through the air intake is forwarded into the engine and compressed into high pressure air to then be burned with a mixture of fuel resulting in an explosion to move the turbine blades and produce thrust on the aircraft. In a turbojet engine, the air sucked by the engine is completely compressed and burned, so the engine requires more fuel. The advantage is that aircraft using turbojet engines can travel at very high cruising speeds, up to supersonic speeds, above 2,500 km per hour. Commercial aircraft using turbojet engines are the Concorde aircraft that were once used by British Airways and Air France. Although turbojet engines excel in terms of speed, this technology has been abandoned due to very poor fuel efficiency and the high operational costs that must be incurred. The second is turboprop engine. Turboprop engines are gas turbine engines that use propellers or blades to suck air. The air sucked by the propeller, 85% is used directly as thrust to move the aircraft. Only 15% is forwarded into the engine core to drive the engine combustion cycle. Turboprop engines have the advantage of great power and are the most fuel efficient. However, this engine has limitations in terms of rotation, so that the maximum cruising speed that can be achieved by a turboprop engine is less than 1,000 km per hour. Turboprop engines are generally used in small subsonic aircraft, such as short to medium-haul passenger transport aircraft, regional passenger transport aircraft, and cargo aircraft. This engine is also used in military transport aircraft such as the Airbus A400M and Lockheed Martin C-130 Super Hercules. The third is turbofan engine. The turbofan engine is the most widely used gas turbine engine in modern commercial aircraft. It is called a turbofan because this engine is equipped with a large fan that functions to suck air. In a turbofan engine, only 25% of the air sucked by the fan is compressed and burned to drive the engine combustion cycle, while the other 75% is forwarded as thrust to move the aircraft or is called bypass air. Because less compressed air is used, less fuel is needed for the combustion process in a turbofan engine compared to a turbojet engine. Meanwhile, the bypass airflow in large capacity provides more thrust to the aircraft and makes the aircraft quieter even at low speeds. 
Turbofan engines have advantages, including producing quieter sounds and fuel efficiency. Aircraft using turbofan engines can reach a maximum cruising speed of 2,000 km per hour without afterburner. In addition to its many advantages, this engine also has disadvantages in the form of low engine efficiency at high altitudes, and its large fan components make this engine heavier than turbojet and turboprop engines. Currently, turbofan engines have been applied to various medium and long-haul passenger aircraft. Even the largest aircraft in the world, such as the Boeing 747, Airbus A380, and Antonov and 225 use turbofan engines as their power source. In addition, a large number of modern fighter aircraft also use turbofan engines as their engine, including the F-15 Eagle, Sukhoi Su-35, and Dassault Rafale. That's a discussion of the three types of gas turbine engines used in airplanes. Which engine is your favorite? Please write your answer in the comments column. See you in the next video.